What do you think about ladies who are young, beautiful, and rich like Lily in here? I guess every young man should be rolling at her feet. Boma could be the lucky guy here to have stolen the boss lady's heart, but the case is different here. He appears to be her driver. And to make matters worse, the young millionaire has just suffered another heartbreak. Obviously, the rich also cry. Lillian seems to express this lovable and hospitable personality as a boss lady she is to everyone, which extends to even her employee. Or could there be more to this? How about to her friends? Doris is her very close friend, and she could attest to Lillian's cordiality. Lillian has feelings for her driver, and she had to open up to her friend. Doris advised her to show him some signs since she couldn't tell him. Lillian's hospitality went extreme to the extent her driver could bring in his girlfriend, Cammy. There is nothing love cannot do. Lillian wasn't happy with what she saw, but she seemed helpless about it. She couldn't help it anymore. She thinks the best way was to find herself a man. Perhaps it will reduce the obsession she has for her driver. She searched through many dating websites, but she couldn't find decent men there. Maybe she could try harder. This might be the opportunity she has always wanted. Lillian was curious about his sex life with Cammie. She was surprised when Boma told her that he is a virgin. How true can this be? She wanted him to go see a movie with her over the weekend, which was a great idea, but the dude invited his girlfriend to join them without Lillian's consent. I wonder how many guys are still this honest in their relationship. But it didn't go well with Lillian after the outing since all the fun went around the two lovebirds. She wasn't only jealous, but also felt bad about everything. That night, Cammie passed the night at Boma's bedroom. Lillian couldn't sleep with every thought going through her mind about them together. She decided to check for herself, but sadly she heard some noise from the bedroom. Lillian really felt bad that Boma lied to her, and ever since that night, she has been hostile to him, neither does she want him to drive her. Boma knew that his boss wasn't happy with him. He thinks sending her an apology message would help salvage the situation. Lillian got his message. She was elated by his words. The memory and fantasy of being with her dream man was beginning to drive her crazy. Maybe she wasn't doing enough to get his attention. Asking for a massage wouldn't definitely make him fall for her, but it wasn't. Lillian later met a young, handsome guy, Louis, while she was jogging. He requested her number, which she gave him. Lillian and Doris are not only friends, but gist partners. Lillian was telling how she met the new handsome guy when her phone rang. It was him. On the flip side, Cammy has been noticing Lillian's reactions whenever they were together. She wasn't comfortable with it anymore. But Boma still didn't understand or believe what she was talking about. Louis finally paid her a visit after several calls. He wanted to take her on a date over the weekend. They were talking when Boma came in. Linda introduced her driver to her friend and everything was fine. Days later, Linda was heartbroken again. She saw Louis making out with another woman on the day they were supposed to go out on a date. To her, Boma seems to be the only honest guy on earth, but his heart has been taken. She has made up her mind now to have him to herself, starting with his birthday. She bought him nice gifts and also made a dinner reservation for them to celebrate together. But he already had the day planned out with Cammy. She couldn't stop him. Why can't this rich, beautiful lady find a decent man for herself with all the money she has? One evening, they were talking when she found out that Boma did not finish schooling, so she offered to send him back to school to complete his degree since that has always been his dream. Boma wouldn't stop thanking her for everything she has been doing for him. Doris thinks Lillian was doing too much for him but she wouldn't stop confessing the love she has for the boy. The ladies didn't know that he was eavesdropping when his phone rang. His presence came as a bolt from the blue as he walked past. Lillian thinks he heard their little secret. Cammie was the one who called his phone. She came to see him quickly about the 70,000 Naira she asked for, but the young man could afford only 30,000 Naira. Cammy got angry at him and told him the relationship was over since he couldn't afford to take care of her. Lillian has been thinking lately. She went to his room to know if he was okay. Boma knows now that his boss feels something for him. 
Lillian can't hide it any longer. Her heart beats for him. Boma tried to be honest with her. He can't promise her his heart, but he will always be there to make her happy. This is what happens when a lady leaves a good man. There are many women out there just waiting for her to slip off, and the man is theirs. This is what Lillian has ever wanted. She knows it is just a gradual process to win his heart. They both were going out when a call came in. He just got an admission into the business school he applied for. This calls for a celebration. They were having a good time together when Cammy came in. It now looks as if Cammy never loved him, but was in the relationship for money. She wanted a payoff from Lillian after she felt that she had been used and dumped. Money shouldn't be the problem for Lillian. She asked her to name her price. Cammy wants five million naira, which she made a quick transfer. Now she has her dream man to herself. They were having a sweet moment when he stopped. Boma wants her to wait for the right time before making love, probably because he is still a virgin. The same night Cammy found out that she was pregnant, this literally means that Boma isn't a virgin. So why lie to Lillian all these while? Boma still follows Cammy everywhere, at least he should drop her off. They got to her house, and she apologized for all she did to him. Cammy still missed him, and they ended up in her bedroom until it was late. When Lillian started calling, he lied that he was still in school studying with his friends. Now we can say that nobody is perfect. Even honest guys still lie. Lillian wouldn't let anything spoil her mood. She's ready to accept everything he throws at her. Boma's phone kept ringing until he finally got the chance to pick his call. She wasn't happy that he had been ignoring her and swore to destroy his relationship with Lillian with everything she had got. That night, Cammie had a severe stomach pain. She called Boma in the middle of the night to come help her. He never knew that Lillian was awake. He tried to calm the situation while he was in the living room when Lillian came in. Boma lied again that he had to go help a course mate who needed his help. What do you expect from a lady who is in love? She trusted him with her life, even when she was that he lied. Cammy regained herself, but Boma was surprised to find out that she is pregnant for him. He wants her to have an abortion, but she was scared about her life. He came back the following morning to find his lovely girlfriend waiting for him. She wanted to know how it all went when Boma told her that he will be going out to study with some group members. But it was Saturday and was supposed to rest, but he insisted. Linda wouldn't accept it this time around. She called Doris to meet up with her. And to their greatest shock, Boma has been lying all this while. They had to go back home when they found out for themselves. Lillian was so pained about everything when Boma walked in. She couldn't just face him, especially when he acted like he was innocent about it. Lillian had already given up this time around. She decided to act up to see how he keeps covering his lies. This time she had a surprise for him. Lillian invited Cammy to her house without him knowing. He wanted to know why she was here when Lillian walked in. She wants to know who's responsible for Cammy's pregnancy. Boma opened up that he was responsible. Lillian really felt bad, but her sense of reasoning got a better part of her. She wanted to know their next plan for the child and also their welfare. Cammy and Boma had no solid plans yet, so she decided to help them by giving them a huge sum of amount to start a good business, even though she doesn't want him to work for her again. All thanks to her kind-heartedness, and someday she will definitely be rewarded with her dream man. Thanks for watching. Please comment your thoughts and also like and share this video for more super amazing videos that we are bringing to you. And if you're watching from our YouTube channel, you can also subscribe and turn on your notification for more. Thank you.